basically means the, the, the wine harvest festival. We grew up in, the, in this fallacy that we were all the same, that we are, were all French and there's one type of French person. And they have this motto, Liberté, Egalité, Fraternité. So we grew up thinking that we were like them, but being shown every single day that we're not. It's a secular state, but the holidays are Christian. I think it is time that now we just say like, uh, we're French. I mean, I'm black and I'm French. I was born here and I'm French. Il ne faut pas renvoyer de la colère à des gens qui ont peur. Vous savez, euh, ce grand homme, paix à son âme, qui est Martin Luther King, qui a dit euh, « Aucune loi sur cette terre ne forcera mon ennemi à m'aimer, mais la loi peut lui interdire de me lyncher. » Personally, I wasn't aware of how deeply involved France was in the slave trade. Um, I was aware that they, they played a significant role in colonialization, uh, particularly in West Africa. But um, So, naturally, it was a very emotive um, speech that he made. Luckily, you were standing there with me, so you were able to give me some information. But I think overall, um, having this day and having the president here is significant. I also did not know how involved uh, France was in the slave trade, but to know that the government is here and recognizing it and talking about it is, is major. I mean, I think um, no matter what country you're from or you live in, if, if slavery was, was happening in your country, to have the government acknowledge it is a, is a huge importance. So it was a great event, and I'm glad that I got a chance to be here to witness it. Ravi de vous accueillir. Moi, j'avoue que quand euh, on m'a parlé de, de ce projet, j'ai trouvé ça super. Il n'y a pas d'autre mot. Cet échange entre Français et Américains est, est très positif. Et j'utilise ce mot parce que c'est un projet qui est dans le positif. This is the first time in France. And believe me, they are loving it as we, we always do when we come here. Congratulations for all the great work you've been doing in the country. We've been following everything you're doing. And um, that's why I thought it was, it was important for us to see you, these amazing young leaders that you see here, to see you, because you're an inspiration to many, many young people, not only in France, but across the country, especially young women. So this is a, a, a popular brand of, uh, of chocolate milk, Banania, and the, the figure is a bit like Aunt Jemima or Uncle Ben, except uh, he's inspired by uh, Senegalese uh, soldiers. So, so, so Senegalese soldiers fought on the side of France in World War I. They were known for these sorts of hats. And then when this product became popular after the war, so it says the, 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 the family breakfast is made to look, you know, ridiculous. I mean, uh, these brave Senegalese warriors were made, were turned into racist caricatures. For the statistics ethnic, I will tell you why I am against it. D'abord parce que je voulais expliquer dans nos textes qu'il n'y a rien de discriminatoire et parce que une société fonctionne sur un socle. Nous ne pouvons pas importer un modèle qui vient des États-Unis et le plaquer sur le modèle républicain. Il y a un tout petit peu, un minimum, mais pas dans tous les quartiers, l'aide de l'État. Mais aux États-Unis, il n'y a rien. It all began in Clichy sous Bois, this town, the 27th October 2005 following the death of two teenagers called Buna and Ziyed. They were returning from a football match from Livry-Gargan, a town near, near us. They get scared with the police when they saw them and they take refuge in a transformer 
of the EDF electricity. This human tragedy has shocked the entire local population, all of us. Everyone was waiting for some explanations of the exact circumstances of their deaths. The revolts, the riots, like you say, uh, in Kishisubwa, lasted six nights. Day and night, we had here cars burning. Since the riots in 2005, when kids from these immigrant communities, children of immigrants growing up in France and in the, the ghettos, um, they were saying, no, we are not going to shoot people. And so that was a turning point in France, I think, in 2005. That was at least the beginning of a conversation.